Good morning, folks. We're going to hit information on isotope dating, a major cyclone, why the technological vulnerability grows as the magnetic field shift continues, and one of the big volcanoes to keep an eye on in the coming years. We are starting, of course, with our star. Last 24 hours on the sun was much quieter than before. In the wake of that powerful eruption we saw yesterday, both the filaments and the sunspots have been very stable. The solar wind and geomagnetic conditions at Earth have been relatively stable as well. We'll certainly keep an eye on the sun for more eruptive activity today, but after a week of magnetic disruption and higher eruption events on the sun, it's nice to get a little break from the higher activity action. Advanced note, we're still looking ahead to August for the full 5.9 month cycle uptick. Here are some satellite shots of the Category 5 cyclone that just hit Myanmar after strengthening in the Northeast Indian Ocean, Bay of Bengal. Brutal storm impact and the data on damage will be rolling in over the coming hours. Prayers would be appropriate. Let's go to a paper that describes how bad carbon dating is. On this channel, we have many times discussed how it struggles to accurately represent key timelines and events in the past, and this one dives deeper into its contamination and error-prone potential. Same goes for most of the dating methods actually used until the most recent ones arrived on the scene. Up next, we have a direct correlation between the reverberation of the magnetic field during space weather impact, which occurs across a range of frequencies, including ULF, and the induced current from the solar storm, which is the main danger for technology. We know the ULF resonance is driven upward as Earth's magnetic field fades in the ongoing pole shift, and this is a key connection to why it produces greater induction risk to modern society. Lastly, folks, this is the Sakampa volcano. It's an ultra-Plinian potential mountain, but it hasn't erupted in several thousand years. It's located near the border of Chile in northern Argentina, and after its long period of silence, it's waking up. It was not long ago that it was considered a dormant and perhaps even extinct volcano. Not anymore. Major land height change at the volcano indicates its first signs of unrest in millennia, and it would be a brutal assault not only nearby, but in its impact to the entire Southern Hemisphere. We greatly appreciate your support. Lots of good links to check out below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.